Another migrant landing caught on camera today in the Florida Keys. You can see and hear the jubilation of the group of Cuban migrants making landfall after days at sea. Nearly 20 people landed on the sand in that homemade boat. Meantime, the state law enforcement presence in the Keys is growing by the day. Local 10's Janine Stan with us live now on Key Colony Beach with it all for us tonight. Janine. And Calvin, this is becoming a much more common sight. These homemade boats making landfall in the Florida Keys. Tough to imagine that 19 people traveled through the Florida Straits with this. This time when they made landfall here in the Florida Keys, they weren't just met with federal agents, but they were also met by state law enforcement. In clear, flat water, you can see a law enforcement boat by a homemade vessel with 19 people on board coming to shore in Key Colony Beach. Just started hearing all the hollering and um, went out on the balcony. Soon, it approaches the sand and they take off running. Oh, hollering, high-fiving, hugging. Uh, splashing water. In minutes, federal agents arrive, followed by a new site, thanks to orders by the governor, Florida Highway Patrol troopers, and agents with the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. FHP tells us their mission is humanitarian, making sure the migrants that Domingo? Domingo. who say they left Cuba two days ago are okay. So this is the boat that this group used. They tell us they left Matanzas, Cuba on Sunday, and they say they didn't have any problems at sea. Take a look. You can see that there are some items of clothing. There are a couple of life jackets in here, and something we usually see with these migrant boats, the motor right in the middle. You can see it's actually starting to take on some water now. Looks like it's leaking some oil. Border Patrol stepping up their own resources as well, say they welcome the extra state help. Hello. After a surge of migration to the Florida Keys over the last year hit a boiling point after the first days of January. They provided, uh, as you've seen earlier, with some of the humanitarian aspects. Um, our partners brought some waters and some additional supplies to help us as we transition these migrants into our custody. U.S. Senator Marco Rubio meeting with officials in Key West about the multi-agency response Tuesday afternoon. The Florida Division of Emergency Management says one of the other things that they're coordinating is the removal of these vessels. They can pose navigational and no doubt environmental hazards. We're also told that we will be seeing some Florida National Guard troops, about 100 to 150 of them. When that happens here in the Florida Keys, we'll stay tuned. We're in Key Colony Beach. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News. A level of desperation most of us can't even comprehend. Janine, thanks a lot. And for much more in this developing story, go right down to Local10.com. And for extensive coverage in Spanish, go to Local10.com in Espanol. It is easy to remember. Just log on to Local10.com forward slash Espanol. You'll find complete coverage right there.